Hey y'all, welcome back to Enchanted by You. Tonight I thought we would do something kind of fun for Halloween. Something that we haven't really done ever before on this channel. Just kind of a informational video for all of you out there, if you may. Tonight we're going to talk about the Ouija board. Now, I know that that's creepy and scary and everyone freaks out about it, but if you play it safely, you may turn out okay. <laughs> I'm not promising that, and uh, this is just an instructional video, so play at your own risk, but you've got to follow some rules if you're going to play this game. So I thought what we would do is, since we love everything paranormal on here, we would get a little creepy and talk about what are the Ouija rules, so that you guys can go out there on this Halloween and play Ouija board safely at least as safe as it's going to get. So let's talk about the Ouija board. First of all, this is not a joke. The board is not a joke. You are actually trying to contact spirits. Something I do here all the time, but fortunately I have my guide to help keep things under wraps here and keep things good here. And you also have guides. You might not know who they are yet, but you do have guides. Your guides will help protect you too. But I also have to say that I use a lot of salt, a lot of sage, and a lot of, a lot of stuff <laughs> um, to keep everything protected here. And I do not like playing the Ouija board. Have I done it before? Yes. Have I seen things I never want to see again? Absolutely. But if you're going to play it on Halloween, then here we go. Here's rule number two. Don't play alone. If you're going to play the Ouija board, you should not be playing it alone. It is safer to play it with someone else. Rule number three, never take your hands off the planchette. If you're not familiar with Ouija boards, this is what is called a planchette. It's usually kind of like a heart shaped thing and you're going to want to place your fingers on top of it like so. And your friend will place their fingers on it as well. Then you place it on top of the board and ask your questions and wait for something to come and start answering your questions. So there is that, but you never want to take your hands off the planchette until you are finished with the session and you say goodbye. That leads me to my next point. Number four, always close the board out. You never want to leave the board open because spirits can come through the board. So if you open up a board, you want to make sure that at the end of it, you move the planchette where it says goodbye on the board. Now, I don't know if this one is true or not, but this is our rule number five. If the board starts to count down in numbers or it starts to go through all the letters one by one, then you want to stop what you're doing immediately, move the board to goodbye, say goodbye to the board, and leave the board alone. Don't touch the board. And also, never leave your planchette on the board. It is said that if the board does start counting down, or the board starts going through the letters one by one that whatever spirit or demon that you're talking to can let itself out if it gets to finish. So make sure you immediately close the board and you want to get rid of the board. You never ever want to burn the board. If the board scares you and you're trying to get rid of the board, what you want to do is go and bury the board, but do not under any circumstances burn the board. Another really good tip, never ever ever place your wood onto the board. This is like a starting a more of a satanic type ritual. Now I guess if you're trying to contact demons and stuff like that maybe you do want to do that. I have a friend who he loves his Ouija boards and he has no problem doing that because he's he has been using the board for like 20 years. So He's a professional, he knows what he's doing, and he contacts demons frequently. He's kind of like a demon hunter, I guess you would call him. But if you are not a demon hunter and you are not used to playing the Ouija board, never, ever, ever put your blood on the board. Rule number eight, and I've already mentioned this, but this is so important, so very important. Do not leave your planchette on the board. Your session may not completely close out and you definitely want to close your session otherwise you could potentially release spirits or demons from the board. Rule number nine and this is just a caution one. Do not ask a spirit board when you're going to die. Do not ask through the PSV7 when you're going to die. Do not ask 
anywhere where any spirit where you're gonna die first off they're probably lying to you second off if you do know do you really want to know that or is it gonna drive you insane chances are it can drive you insane you don't want to be locking yourself inside because they told you that you were gonna have a car crash and die in the car crash and never go in a car again you know that might not happen for 60 years who knows how long so don't ask when you're gonna die don't ask how you're gonna die and number 10 and I think this is probably the most important especially for the stuff that I do when I'm communicating with spirits never ever never ever ever use any type of drugs or any type of alcohol and be under the influence while you're trying to use your board or while you're trying to contact spirits so you don't want to do that it makes you a lot more vulnerable and spirits can take over you you can get possessed so now you know all the rules for playing the Ouija board I still don't recommend that you do it but you're welcome to try it if you want to get a little creepy this Halloween and if you don't listen to my rules, I'm going to show you a couple videos of what might actually happen to you. So what do you think? Are you brave enough to play Ouija? I'm not brave enough to play Ouija anymore. I like my spirit boxes and I like the apps that I use, but I am not brave enough to play Ouija anymore. I've seen too much happen from a Ouija board. <laughs> um, and that's a story from, for a whole different day. But anyway, if you guys have liked this video, you want to see more like this video, because I have several more plans that we're going to do on how to play some other creepy games, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and maybe let me know what kind of games you want the rules to. If you want the real rules, and maybe even the real origins to some games, I'm sure we can definitely come up with something for you. So let me know in the comments below what kind of games you want and maybe you just want to know a list of really fun, really creepy games. Just definitely subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more creepy games. I know it's going to be past Halloween but you can play creepy games all year round. So uh, let's get creepy and if you haven't already yet we have a whole bunch of new designs on our Teespring shop so go check out the Teespring shop at teespring.com and then type in Enchanted Bayou and you will see all the Enchanted Bayou designs I hope everyone's doing okay love you guys talk to you soon I hope bye